It's been a big week in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator. We have a new beta build as well as this week we had a new development live stream and the first aircraft that was confirmed and revealed for the new Flight Sim 2024. More Boeings are on the way and all of this week's big announcements and release news so let's not waste any more time and jump straight into the video. We are kicking off this week's previews and announcements and after the release of the Chinook helicopter by Miltech, they have announced their next aircraft in development. This time the team is switching back to airplanes with the Lockheed U-2. The U-2 is a single engine high altitude reconnaissance aircraft. They started operating in the 1950s and provided intelligence gathering all types of weather up to 70,000 feet. The latest models entered service in the 1980s with large upgrades in 2012 and they are still currently in service today. Miltech's version of the U-2 has been in development for several months now in secret in parallel with the Chinook. Miltech have shared some small details thus far when it comes to the release which will include two variants of the U-2 with the U-2R featuring the analog cockpit and the U-2S which is equipped with glass cockpit. In line with creating the most authentic edition of the U-2, the team plans to bring all the authentic flight dynamics and chase car assistance in line with real world operations of the U-2. On top of that, virtual simmers will be able to take on emission systems with historical ground scenarios to undertake. The team have not provided any release date, but they did mention they are expecting to release sometime this year for both PC and Xbox. Flight FX confirmed this week they are in development with the Citation X. The team provided a bunch of exterior shots over on their Discord server this week, along with a recent collaboration with a well-known YouTuber, Air Force Proud. The team showcased some in cockpit shots a while ago and named it Project X. And so it seems that this project has been in development for some time now. The screenshots from the team showcase the winglet version of the Citation X. However, the team has mentioned they will include a non-winglet version as well. The team were captured by Air Force Proud on a current video showing them on board a Citation X with the team capturing finer details of the aircraft such as sounds of the engine startups, flaps, hydraulic pumps and as well as they were taking reference shots of the interior. No other details from the team at this stage however we will keep you posted on any more development news. We have been following this development for some time now which is the DC Designs F5E Tiger II. It seems the release is becoming closer as the publisher and Just Flight have just updated the product page of the aircraft. DC Designs mentioned that the F5 has been modeled natively within Microsoft Flight Simulator. All the models, behaviors, and animations have been built to prevent any issues with future sim updates. Other features we should expect to see with the release is high fidelity virtual cockpits and also an accurate model ejection seat. All the analog and 3D instruments have been included, fully custom crew helmet which has name and flight suit patches, functional multiplayer compatible radar, custom coded user controls for the ordnance via the simulated payload manager, display screen with a visual layout based on the real aircraft's release systems, 17 deliveries are included, there is no confirmed release date from the team but it can't be too far away. Please bosh that like button if you enjoy the content and consider subscribing for weekly flight sim content news and updates it's free and it's the best way to help and grow the channel thank you very much for your support PMDG released its first trailer of the long-awaited Boeing 777 for Microsoft Flight Simulator this week. The trailer was followed by a 45-minute Q&A live stream with the PMDG co-founder Robert Rendezzo. The first 777 variant will release will be the 777-300ER, which is the longer version of the 777 fleet. Robert mentioned we will see the release of the 777-300ER in the next two weeks to two months. There's still a few things that are being worked on currently. No price has been confirmed publicly yet but Robert did mention that it will be on the same lines as what they did with the 737 at fleet pricing. Other variants we will see down the line will be the 200LR, the 777F and also the 200ER and one of these will be at a lower price like they did with the 737-600 but which one hasn't been confirmed yet. The 737 at Max aircraft will be released in between the 777 release. This is the first time we've seen the team from PMDG mixing up the release with different aircraft types. 
We've also heard in the pipeline that there is a secret project and there is no word from Robert during the Q&A about what aircraft the secret project is. A few aircraft were thrown into the mix including at the 737 Classic and the 727 but Robert has been very tight lipped on this which is great marketing on their behalf. The 777 will release as a high fidelity aircraft and that they have learnt and built the 777 as a base from the 737s and they've expanded on new features such as an expansion on the maintenance tracking, a GSX integration and a fully explorable virtual cabin with cockpit doors that open and close. Robert also mentioned that the tablet is now working on the Xbox version of the 737 and we will see it released in the marketplace as soon as possible. Of course, we will keep following any new developments from PMDG and links are in below for the teaser and also the Q&A. Boris Audio Soundworks have released their next teaser trailer for their latest up and coming release which will be the Aerosoft CRJ Sound Pack. Boris mentioned this is a complete overhaul of the sound package for the Aerosoft CRJ. The teaser trailer features all the sounds from start to finish of a flight. Expected to release in the next couple of days and it will be available over on the Orbex store for release and later on it will be available in the Insima marketplace once it's been approved. The sound pack will be compatible with all four variants of the CRJ from Aerosoft such as the 550, the 700, the 900 and the 1000. Link in the description below if you'd like to check out the full teaser and listen to all the sounds that are available from this sound pack it links in the description up below thank you to simbit world of pilots life chapter 2 for sponsoring this video a pilot's life chapter 2 simulates the career of a commercial airline pilot by generating your schedules and tracking your scores for your flights and rewarding weekly according to your contract type and much more. Pilot's life provides a reason to fly in the sim from A to B while improving your skills as an airliner pilot and depending on how good your scores are you can progress throughout your airliner career to higher tier airliners and purchase more aircraft license. With over 575 airliners and over 280,000 real up-to-date routes, each flight and contract will have you experience the virtual airliner career globally, living a pilot's life. A pilot's life will work across all types of flight sim platforms, including a Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane, P3D, and even FSX. Links in the description are where you can pick up your copy of Pilot's Life, and we thank them for sponsoring this video. Moving on to this week's release news, Aerosat have released their Technam P2010 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The team released the Technam P92 a year ago and now it's the P2010's time. The Technam 2010 is a four seat high wing single light aircraft that is constructed with a mix of metal and carbon fiber. The 2010 is powered by 180 horsepower a Lycoming four cylinder piston engine with a maximum takeoff of 1,220 kilograms. The aircraft first flew in 2012 and 245 have been built and they are still in production today. Aerosas version of the P2010 comes with detailed 3D modeling inside and out, animated flight services, external static elements such as GPU, pitot cover, uh, tow bar, wheel chocks, tie downs and more. Detailed Garmin G1000 interactive full working circuit breakers and Eve B has been included and a full checklist. You can pick up a, your copy of Aerosas's Technam P2010 from the Sim Market Store as usual links in the description below. In our next release for the week, which is something a little bit different than what we have seen in the sim before, which is the Red Wings have released their LZ129 Hindenburg Zeppelin. The Hindenburg was more than three times the length of a Boeing 747 and entered service in 1936, flying passengers over the Atlantic Ocean between Germany and the US. In 1937, the Hindenburg suffered a tragic fireball ripping off its rear section of the airship and sending it crashing down into the ground in front of hundreds of onlookers. Red Wing's version of the Hindenburg appears to be a very detailed and capturing the immersion of flying this classic airship. From the looks of the teasers, all the systems and stations needed to pilot the Hindenburg have been included. There is no feature list that has been provided, but it does include a full in-depth manual. You can pick up your copy of Red Wing's LZ129 Hindenburg Zeppelin from the Insima Marketplace store, and it is available for both Xbox and 
taxiing over to this week's Sim Update news, a new beta build was released at the start of the week for Sim Update 15. This week, the beta build version is now up to 1.37.8.0. This version includes a bunch of bug fixes and general fixes, as well as fine tuning the memory and texture size balancing for the settings for console users. There will be more tuning when it comes to that sort of thing in future releases and on the next beta build. So we should expect to see another beta probably sometime next week. A bunch of updates to the Garmin G3000, the G5000, the Garmin TG3X Touch and also the 430s and the 530s in this update. There's also been a bunch of general quality of life improvements and bug fixes as well. Updates to other aircraft such as the P51, the X Cub, the NX Cub and updates to helicopters when it comes to multi-engine helicopters. As always, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out the full change log. This week we were treated to the March development live stream where we heard about the next city update and also the next local legends which were announced. The next city update will be southern Germany which will include six cities and a new airport and also the local legend that will be launching alongside which will be the Donier DO31. The team also covered in length about sim update 15 and how the testing process is going as well as some new updates that are coming to sim update 15 or future updates and in some other news uh, during the development live stream the team confirmed the first aircraft developer of the new 2024 sim which is flight fx and they are going to be introducing the Cirrus vision jet and the jetson aero uh, which is an experimental uh, helicopter type of thing which will be available in the new sim the team also mentioned that they will start bringing more information to the development live streams about the 2024 development and we should hear more about some other aircraft developers on the next one we covered this week's live stream in full detail, including the Airbus A320 news and also narrowing down the release date of when we'll see the 2024 sim. You can check out that video at the end of this one and as always, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Moving on to this week's backlog list, we've seen a reduction of new products in the backlog by 10 to a standing of 282 total new products. Aircrafts are up by four with five aircraft being added to the Microsoft Flight Simulator testing. So hopefully we'll see some releases when it comes to aircraft in the in -sim marketplace soon. Missions are up by 16, sceneries are down by nine, liveries are down by 13, airports are down by 10 and others are up by 26. On the NCM marketplace this week, we've seen one aircraft release that has been the Red Wings Hindenburg Zeppelin. As we mentioned before, it's available for both PC and Xbox. The total number of products released for the week is 34 on PC and 35 on Xbox. Other releases for the week have made up of six theory packs, six mission packs, two landing challenge packs, three scenery packs, one landmark pack, two environmental packs, and four airports. All these liveries, missions, and landing packs are great but the community is looking for aircraft releases on the incident marketplace it's been very lean in this area for some time now so hopefully we'll see this improve sometime very very soon Bosh that like button if you forgot to do it during some time in the video this is just another stealthy reminder and consider subscribing to the channel it's the best thing you can do it's absolutely free and it really helps the channel to grow and you can stay up to date each and every week with all the flight sim highlights and news thank you very much for watching and we will see you in another stream or video very soon thank you for your support